Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to the ABC collab. There are wonderful artists participating in this collab, and it's Confused Ginger, Geneviève Robillard, Eddie Art X, Silva Filigree, Filigree 3, Penholder Art, Nasreen 13, Ahad Fan, Draw Art Lab, Weblight Dreams, Nessa Draws, Ashlam's Art, and Luna Sky Art. All of them will be linked down below so you can visit their channels to see what they have painted. The subject of this collab is Goddess. Um, let me talk a few words about the collab. This is a big collab that is hosted by Nasreen13 uh, every year and last year I have participated too. There the subject was, um, I think, fairy tales. This year we all are painting something that has something to do with goddesses. You may ask yourself, why am I painting a flower there? Well, let me explain. This flower is called the Convolvulvus arvensis, or field bindweed. It's common in Europe and Asia. In German it's also called the Muttergottesgläschen. The glass of the godmother, literally translated. And that's why I am painting this one for this collab. I have to admit that first I thought of painting humans uh, or maybe animals, as I'm painting many of them on this channel. But I decided on this one, and it's mostly because of the name, the legend behind it, and my personal connection to the godmother. It sounds weird, but let me explain. So the Muttergottesgläschen is a name that was given to this flower by the brothers Grimm in a legend. The legend says uh, that when the godmother um, appeared, she met a seller who was carrying um, wine. The man was very tired and the godmother offered him help in exchange for a glass of wine. As this man had no glasses with him, but only barrels of wine, she took a blossom of this flower and that's what she drank, drank from. And that's why this flower in particular has this name. This legend is from the early 19th century, at least it's when it was written down by the brothers Grimm. They have noted that this is a legend um, that is being told in the area around Paderborn, a German city, and especially within the family uh, Haxhausen. Well, that's interesting. And now you know what is special about, uh, about this flower. Sorry for turning around um, the paper so much. You may ask yourself now what is connecting me to this flower or the godmother. What connects the godmother to me is my former work. As some of you may know, I studied history and when I wrote my thesis in history it was about the appearances of the Holy Godmother in Poland in the 19th century, in the, at the end of the 19th century. It was a century where many appearance, appearances of the Godmother occurred and where the perception of them changed and also the people who could see her. It was then the perception of women changed and men um, in combination to the holiness or the ability to see those, um, the appearances. So it was a very interesting topic and I really enjoyed working on that. And actually a paper was published by me on this topic. So. When 
working for this collab, this is what I have thought of and this is what I wanted to do. And I'm sorry about rambling so much about my former work. So let's talk about the paints that I have used in this one a little. I have used um, the Holbein palette again and for the first time in my life, life I have used the Opera in a finished piece. Well that's the first one. I really enjoyed the mix of green and purple in the leaves of this uh, flower and in the end I decided to make it a little bit special by using some f uh, using some fine text for a little bit sparkle. I may have went overboard with that, but I actually I enjoyed the finished piece a lot and it was nice to finally get to use the fine text in a piece. I encourage you again to take a look at the other artists and what they have done with the collab. I will do that too. Thank you all for being here. Have a wonderful day. I hope to see you soon. Bye!